time in YouTube and welcome back to another episode of TCGO Battles. Today we are taking on Curious Cleffa in what hopes to be a pretty fantastic match. Now this will be a quick match as she does only have a limited time to play. Um, we also have already done this matchup but it is part of a bit of corruption uh, that happened on my computer. Uh, if you guys had noticed in my Incineroar video on Saturday, it was unfortunately part of it. So I already do know what my opponent will be playing today, uh, as she knows what I will be playing as well. Um, with that being said, I'm not going to be spoiling anything as to the outcome of what it is so you guys have a fresh uh, experience with these decks. Um, but just be advised that some of the things that you guys may see even in the thumbnail may not be the same as what's going to happen in these matches, so please understand that. Um, but I'm going to send this request, get this thing started, because like I said, we are on a bit of a time stretch. Um, but if you guys want to be part of this series, please either leave yourself a comment down in the comment section below here, or hit me up on Twitter so you guys have the opportunity to battle me as well. I take battles as best as I can, um, and as I said in the first episode, this series is not consistent. I will not be, some weeks there will not be a TCGO battles, just whenever I can get people to battle, that's when we're going to have battles. Bam. Uh, but we're going to win this coin toss as we get straight into this first matchup, and we are going to go first. I like getting that opportunity to set up and play. Um, we are unfortunately going to get no Pokemon, as my opponent did, so they, she will be able to get a Mulligan. And of course, guys, if you are brand new to Curious Cleffa, please head on over to her channel. I do believe she is actually recording her half this time, so it'll be all in good favor to go check out her side of the match as well. Um, she's got fantastic commentary, she's got a fantastic personality, and I do heavily recommend checking it out. I'm still trying to see if I can get a basic card out of this deck. Uh, it's just not seeming to happen. There are tons, but we are going to get a Mew here, which is actually an okay start. It's not the best. It, it's really just not the best. Uh, we have no additional cards. Our opponent is going to get two additional draws here, um, but I can't really do much. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be able to do much. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what my opponent has. Um, and again, I will not spoil what we see. Whatever you guys see on the screen is exactly what we're going to be fighting. And that is going to be the Yveltal EX here. Uh, very powerful card against us. As it does resist, resist Pissimian, who is exactly what we're going to go for. Here's our first Pissimian down. Our opponent cannot attack us turn one. Thanks to the two color good old synergy there. Um, I'm going to get a Kukui off of this. This is going to be one of the easiest Ultra Bowls I've ever had, and we're going to ditch the Ultra, uh, the Sycamore and the Kukui. Um, at this point, I think I really just want to grab a Pissimian, get that damage down onto the bench as best I can. Um, I don't need to... Um, if I'm going to Sycamore anyway, I might as well go for the Bursting Balloon, not that it's going to matter. I really don't see her attacking me turn one. Uh, but we are going to get another Pissimian on the bench, which is actually quite critical. Uh, there are all four in the deck. Um, and we are going to play down the Mew. Uh, I can easily put down a Skyfield as well, which will increase our bench space. And I'm just going to drop a nice energy down on the Mew. Uh, hopefully getting that additional energy support in the next turn. If she ends, that'll be actually quite perfect for me. Because I don't need to use that fighting energy on the Mew. I can save that for a later fling. Um, but with that though, we're going to see our opponent go through this real quickly. Like I said, we've only got about half an hour or so, which is still very easily able to get three games in. Our opponent does drop a Darkness Energy onto that good old Yveltal EX. Uh, still can't attack, so it means we're not going to see the Double Colorless Energy hit this turn, but we're going to see some additional stuff coming, coming from the Trainer's Mail. Um, our, we're going to see the Parallel City, which is not good for us! That is not good for us! Our opponent picked up the perfect Stadium to counter us right now. Um, I will be able to sacrifice my Mute to do it, but unfortunately... It's just not going to be good. Not good at all. Uh, the Parallel City does go down, and we are going to have to sacrifice our one Mew. Our bench space is max three, so Passimian, you're going to have to do some work here. We're going to see an Ultra Ball come through, and our opponent is probably looking for... Uh, we do see that they have the Eevee, two Eevees hit the discard pile. Uh, so she knows that she is not wanting to play them Eevees. Um, and like I said guys, this is our third technical match for this, um, so she does know quite a bit about my deck already, which is a very big factor here, um, especially being that it's a quote-unquote non-EX, I have Shamans in here, 
but I have a non-EX deck versus a very powerful EX hitter in Yveltal. So Yveltal number two is about to hit the field. One just dropped into her hand and down onto the table it goes. Um, we're gonna see our turn come. There goes the good old uh, bursting balloon. I can drop an energy down here. Unfortunately, it's not gonna do too much. Uh, we are gonna go for a nice Hex Maniac. Stop any and all abilities. Why did I do that? I made a huge misplay. I'm the only one with an ability. I was trying to stop her from playing shamans and all that kind of stuff, but instead I'm just gonna get knocked out. Instead, I'm just gonna get knocked out. That was a stupid play. A stupid play. And I have no um, additional supporters or anything to kind of come back from this. So unfortunately, we're gonna be sitting tight. Uh, we're gonna be sitting tight. My opponent has a gar a Trubbish now on the bench in the back. Um, like I said, we did make a huge play, because we could have had 3, 6, 9, at least 100 damage down onto Yveltal, which would have been a nice cushion in case we did get a nice, uh, a nice good ol' attacker into the next turn with a double colorless energy, but unfortunately we're not, so we're not gonna get a whole lot of anything. We're gonna hit a Nest Ball. I'm gonna grab a Mew. I don't want to lose too many Pissimians if I don't have to. My opponent is in a very um, amazing position. This this is completely different than how all our matches have gone prior. Um, but we are going to see that our opponent is not... She's going to knock out a Pissimian here. Uh, actually, I don't know, 2460. Uh, she may not be able to knock out my Pissimian, which is fine. I'll be able to keep him around a little longer. But I'll not be able to get too much off here. So good old Garbodor here is my enemy because it's going to stop my Mew from hitting. And... Yveltal does resist my Pissimian, so we're going to see that Ultra Ball. Uh, it's going to get rid of two Sycamores, and this is going to get the Shaman, which will get her six more fantastic cards into her lovely hands. Uh, but we're in a very big, big problem, because that Garbodor now can easily get set up, and once that thing has an ability, I am pretty much in Dental Fanzo Land. There's not much I can do. But that's okay. It's only game number one. There, like I said, there's potential for three matches here. One is just not looking my way. The one is just not looking my way. But that that is all right. Uh, Simeon, you know what? Your team player. I understand that sometimes you don't win the first match, but game number two, you can come back and throw those balls properly. Or in this case, the melons. Look at them melons. He he looks like he's ready to go. Like he's ready to just throw that melon and hit somebody in the face. But we're gonna take sixty. Uh, we will get knocked out in the following turn. We're going to get a Nest Ball. Um, I'm just not able to play. I'm not able to play. I have a Special Charge, I have a Pokemon Ranger, and I have a Nest Ball. Uh, so at this moment in time, I can't do much. Can't do much. Oh boy. Uh, we're going to see a Max Elixir hit off from her hand, and this is actually going to fail. This is unfortunate for my opponent, but... In the position that we're in, I'm actually quite okay with it. We're going to see a Dark Energy hit the Eveltal in the back, and we're going to lose our second Mon here being Pissimian. Um, I do have Revives in the deck, so I can technically get them back, um, but unfortunately, it's just not going to be the case right now. I'm going to get a Double Colorless Energy. Uh, Garbodor is not set up, so I can actually go for a team play here. Um, I'm going to get that Pissimian from the deck, and this is going to hit for 100. If I had not used the Hex Maniac from prior, I would have actually knocked out this uh, Yveltal at this point. But you know what? Misplays happen, guys! Misplays happen! Uh, we're going to see the Enhanced Hammer. Like, like she needs to have that as well, um, because she's just going to knock me out here. Um, yeah. yeah. That, that, that's just... That's just... <laughs> but she deserves it. Like I said, I know the results of the previous two matches, and this is going so much better for her. It's it's showcasing that her deck is running very nicely. Um, she just recently built it, so she was not she wasn't too confident with it in our first matchups, which is kind of nice that we're getting a secondary uh, matchup set because uh, she's definitely a lot more confident with it now, knowing exactly what to do, where to use utility, and it is just showcasing. We're going to see Lysander come through. It's going to take out one of my Simeons. Uh, well, it's going to do 60 damage. 
Um, I can at least go for my special charge. I can go for a fling. I can do some damage. I can do a whole bunch of things. I'm going to at least get that dark uh, double colorless energy back that I've lost so unnecessarily. Uh, and we're going to go for fling. We're going to hit that Garbodor. Just hit that thing up in the air. Up in the uh, good old sky there. But uh, yeah, Pissimian's going to go down. Pissimian's just going to go down. No problem. No problem. We got this, guys. We still got this. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. I'm not feeling confident at all. I'm not. I'm just not. Um, we're going to see the Evil Ball. I'm going to take 80 this time because I do have an energy on the Pissimian, and we're going to lose that as well. Uh, I can't use Mew anymore until I get rid of that uh, good old Garbodor. Uh, we're going to get a Via Seeker finally, and this is going to get us some cards. Um, not necessarily the best timing for it because we are so far behind, um, but we can try. We can try. Shaman has no abilities. I need a Skyfield to get rid of that Parallel City, and I, I don't get one. So we are going to go with the good old Bursting Balloon out of all those options. We are going to play that. Um, my team play is not going to be very high here. Um, I'm literally going to just get resisted. But I will go for the double colorless energy drop. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't need to play anything here because none of that's going to matter. We're going to go for team play. Hit for 20 damage. But if the bursting balloon hits off this time, I will knock out the Yveltal. And this will not be a skunked match, guys. I will get at least two prizes. But this is not looking like it's going to be our game. She dwindled down our power being Parallel City because we did set up very nicely. Had almost all the uh, Pissimians out. We have all four, in the, two of them in the discard, one about to go to the discard. Oh boy, that's a big, powerful Yveltal. We're going to see the VS Secret. It's going to be that Lysander. It's going to hit off onto my other Pissimian right now. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Not much I can say. Um, all my power from Mew is gone. I can't go for Encounter because Encounter is just going to get me more Mews and or Shamans, which I already have, which can't be used because of the Garbodor. Um, yeah, my, my gimmicks are up. I'm not going to lie. She's doing fantastic, and that's exactly what I was expecting. Um, her deck is doing exactly what she's supposed to be doing, uh, mitigating what I can do, removing the energies, focusing on the things that you may know they're the things that are going to give her the power to take me out without having to do massive amounts of damage. Now she's able to do 100 damage flat. Uh, she's actually going to go for a Y Cyclone and move that double colorless energy onto that back Yveltal. I believe. She's just going to move one of the dark energies, which is fine. Uh, we are going to get a revive up, so we're at least going to get some more damage down, which is nice. I just can't get this thing out of here. <sighs> I don't need Pokemon. I'm unfortunately done. I can't retreat. I can't retreat. I can't do much. Because in order for me to have taken up the Garbodor, which opens up a ton of opportunity, um, I would have had to lose the Pissimian anyway. And unfortunately, that turn just not did not work out. Now we can still potentially get a prize here because we have one team play that's gonna get us 40 damage. Never mind. Never mind. In comes the Eva Ball, it's gonna be 80 damage. Down goes my Pissimian, and we're gonna at least get the one that can attack back up. Come on, revive. We're gonna get bursting balloon up here. Um We can hit up this Garbodor, trying anyway. Um, like I said, it's not going to do everything that I want it to do. We're going to hit for team play. It'll do 40. So it's got 30 left. It's in fling range. If I can at least get um, a fighting energy on Pissimian, I can knock it out, get a prize. Um, I can't play Shaman at this point because she can just lie standard in, take it out. It'll be Dunzo Funzo, and that'll be it. Uh, but in comes the Yveltal, who will go down to my Bursting Balloon. Ah, uh, never mind, she's going for that Yveltal, or that Lysander switch, bringing in my other Pissimian, and I, I, I just can't get any tricks today. I can't get any tricks! Oh, man. 
But down goes Pissimian. Uh, actually, Pissimian does not go down. Uh, we are going to get a double colorless energy here. Hmm. 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 I can drop it down. Like, at least I can technically retreat. Um. Really, though, I could have. I would have benefited more from getting a fighting energy. Because I only do 20 damage to this thing. I don't need anything here. I can get the sky field up. I can go for a town map and see what kind of travesty lies behind the grave. And it's two fighting energy. So if I could get one knockout, which is technically, you know, you know, uh, it's, it's not looking good. Most of my VS Seekers are prized. I've got one more VS Seeker here. Um... We're going to get a nice revive off, which actually might boost me up to a proper amount of damage. Uh, I only need to do 50. We're going to bring back Simeon here. Um, do I do 30? I do 3, 6, 7. Actually, we're in range of knocking out a Yveltal. This is awesome! We're not going to just knock out here. So we're going to grab that fighting energy, and we are going to grab Lysander. Uh, this way we can kind of hit the Shaman, maybe hit the Yveltal. The Yveltal is going to easily take out my Pissimian in the front, though. Uh, not much I can do about that. But we're going to aim for that Garbodor, take it out. Um, not that it's going to matter. Like, it, it just ain't. It ain't going to matter. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Unfortunately, it'll be too late to try and get Mew set up. Like, I can set a double color center to drop onto it right now, and then I could go for team play, but it's not an ability. I can't just hit Garbodor. But we got one knockout, guys. We're not completely skunked here, and that is fine by me. Uh, Cleffa has well earned her win here. I'm not going to even deny that. Um, in fact, we'll have it as a 3 0 victory, I believe. I believe we can fly. I don't know what I'm singing anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we are going to drop in energy here. We're going to go for that fling and hit that Garbodor. Down it goes. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. So we're going to take... We're going to take the VS Seeker. Okay, Mew can finally attack. But it's a little late. I don't have any more ways of getting my Pissimian back, I don't believe. Uh, especially when this one does go down, because that's 24, 60, 80, 100 damage. Um, I might not go down here. But there's no way for me to get additional um, Pissimians back. There are obviously flaws in this deck, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to see 120 damage thanks to the additional Dark Energy. Um, and that will be the game. That will be the first match of the game, which again, is fine. We got to see what my opponent is all about, and we're about to get into the second match where we're gonna see if she can handle Pissimian again. Now, based on that, you guys must know what happened in our first matchups. Again, I will not say anything of what happened. She may have, so you guys are gonna have to check out her side of it, but I ain't gonna. You know what, that's all about the surprise. It's all about the game. You know what? We're here, we're now, and we're going to get these matches underway. Um, so we're going to win this coin toss, and I kind of want to go... I want to go second this time. You know what? I'm going to play second. I'm going to take my decision. I'm going to go with it. I have a Mew opportunity. Our opponent has no basic Pokemon, so I will at least be able to technically draw an additional card, uh, which is good. But I have no additional draw supports. So that would be very helpful. I don't really need to know. I've seen this deck a ton. This is... Now, my fourth time playing this game. Uh, playing this deck, I apologize. Uh, this is just awkward. My opponent is getting no Pokemon here at all. That is three additional drops. We might even get a Pissimian for free here. Uh, that would be huge. If I could get an, a, a Pissimian or two for free and then Nest Ball for the third, that would be massive right now. But we don't get any. And my opponent starts with a lowly Eevee. A lowly little Eevee. Uh, we do see the Fright Knight Yveltal in the back, 130 HP, Fright Knight. 
Uh, it only matters if it comes in the active position, which it could. Uh, we are going to see the trainer's mail hit, looks at the top four cards of her deck, and sees if she can get a trainer card from there. It's going to be the Max Elixir, which is a very strong card for you, Veltal. Um, but are we going to see that Umbreon turn one? We're going to see that Max Elixir turn one, and it doesn't work. There's nothing in that hand. I feel really bad for it right there because that is a huge setup ability right there. Turn one, Max Elixir getting that Evolutal setup, and unfortunately she did not get it. Unfortunately, I'm not going to keep my hand. This beautiful, gorgeous hand of mine is going to get just thrown back in the deck, and I will get none of those features. Um, I still don't have a Pissimian. And I have no draw support! Uh, Yveltal with a Fighting Fury Belt this time, and a Max Elixir failed again! My opponent definitely has no energy, because she would have evolved that EV ASAP. Um, we need to kind of get some control here, because we're just not doing so hot. Um, okay. We're going to drop an energy here. We're going to go for a Shaman, hoping to grab something. That's all I can ask. Grab something, please. Bursting Balloon. Okay, we can do that. We can get the Nest Ball going, uh, which get us one of our four Pissimian, which are all in the deck. Very, very clutch to know. Um, I can actually go for an encounter here. And I'm going to put another Pissimian. Is it Pissimian I want? I might go for the Shaman. You know what? I, I will go Shaman. I will go Shaman. Let's do that. At least that way I will get some card draw. Uh, I have no supporters that I can use, and I gotta be careful of my Hex Maniac right now. Um, it did... did I, That would have actually been a perfect turn to use it, um, but I did not. So, again, probably... Very big problem on my part. Uh, we're going to see a Dark Energy hit the Eveltal in the back. And is that going to be the turn? My opponent is in a pretty bad jam in terms of card draw. Uh, and cannot switch right now. And cannot switch. Oh, uh, never mind. There is the float so my opponent is easily set up and capable of doing everything she wants. She just was worried about throwing away the Garbodor, and I'm kind of happy she did because I get the opportunity to actually try and play here. Um, Umbreon kind of counters my Mew. My Passimian takes care of the Umbreon. Um, and then the Veltals definitely counter Passimian. So, it's it's an even match in that regard, but we're going to see that that is not going to be the case here. We are going to actually be able to draw a Passimian, which is amazing. Um, I unfortunately do need to play my Shaman down. Can I get a draw support here that is not... No. Oh, we get an N! And you know what? That is actually beautiful. I will play that N anytime. Because I don't want to lose anything that I had. Um, and my opponent had a ton of Pokemon and whatnot in her hand. So this actually works out for the better. I can Nest Ball for an additional uh, Simeon. Um, and actually, I should get my first knockout here. I should get my first knockout of the game. Uh, we're going to just drop that nice fighting energy down, drop another Mew down, and if she wants to go for anything, I will ditch everything but the Pissimians. So uh, we are going to go for that nice team play and take out this Eevee before it has that opportunity to evolve. Hunter damage, thank you. And there's my first prize of the game. It's going to be a Bursting Balloon. My opponent is going to be coming in here and it's going to be able to knock out my Mew. No problem. No problem. But we are going to put that Yveltal into good position. Um, hopefully. We're going to see a Fighting Fury Belt for that Yveltal EX in the back. My opponent has got so many powerful cards, it's kind of intimidating. I'm not going to lie. Double. Uh, we're going to see the Darkness Energy drop onto the Eveltal in the front. Uh, this is going to make this a very knocked out view. Very knocked out view. Uh, we do not do enough damage there. But I am going to drop a Mew back up in the front. Uh, we are going to get a Hex Maniac, which I don't need. I really don't need that in this matchup. Uh, we're going to drop a Bursting Balloon. We're going to go for that nice team play, which is going to do a nice flat hunter damage. Uh, still not in a range of knocking this thing out, uh, but it is a nice chip 
at the damage. But unfortunately, I'm kind of hoping she goes for a nice... Um, I'm hoping she goes for a nice end here to kind of compensate the one that I've already used to kind of help me out a little bit. Uh, we're going to see a max elixir. Probably it's not going to happen. Uh, that's the third max elixir that's failed for my opponent. Um, a dark energy onto the back of Uh She does not need to add any additional. There's that parallel city, and this is actually going to be a huge opportunity to get rid of these shamans, but unfortunately I am going to have to cut down my Mew. Um, because there's... I need the Pissimians for damage. Now my opponent will be taking some damage here. We're going to see the Lysander, and I lie, my opponent is just going to try knocking out my Pissimians here, and we're going to be in a very bad position again. Uh, unfortunately, this is just going to start eating us away here. Pissimian is going to get not taken out, but I'm, I'm not able to do much. So here we go. At least we're getting a Skyfield down. Um, we can get this into play. And you know what? I'm going to just stop and retreat and go into my Mew. At least I can get as much damage down as possible here. I'm not going to go for the Hex Maniac just yet. I'm going to go for a team play. 100 damage down onto that Yveltra. It's got 10 HP left. Just a straight up 10 HP. Uh, so if I can grab any energy, that would be absolutely advantageous right now. Any ad any energy at all. Uh, we're going to see a double colorless energy hit the Yveltal in the back with a floatstone on that particular Yveltal. Uh, Via Seeker into Sycamore, which is going to net her seven more fantastic cards, and unfortunately that does not spell well for us. I do need a draw supporter ASAP, and unfortunately we're not getting them today. Uh, I did have to sacrifice to get, and we're getting Parallel City again! Oh, that Parallel City is just bonkers! It's just bonkers! Parallel City is just so good, and it counters Pissimian so hard. We're going to see that Evil Ball is going to take out our Mew here, and I need a draw supporter to actually come into this matchup. Uh, I am going to go into a fresh Pissimian. I don't want to lose a Pissimian if I don't have to. I'm going to get a double colorless energy, which is going to be able to help me knock out this good old uh, Yveltal. But I can at least go for my Hex Maniac this time, knowing that it's just going to affect her. We're going to go for team play. It's resisted, but it will knock her out. Uh, and this way, I can at least get two prizes. One being Lysander, and one being a Sycamore, which is going to potentially get us back in this matchup. All right, we're pretty hyped here. Now, my opponent has two mons ready to go here. One being Yveltal, who is very scary. This thing is very scary. And we've also got the Yveltal in the back. Now, we did take prize lead, um, but this is not... If this is not a nice place to be in. We're going to see that second darkness energy, um, and we're just going to see the evil ball. This is going to be an increased damage of 110, which is going to knock me out. Uh, that's not good. It's not good. I don't have enough damage output to hit her for max damage. Um, I don't need to go for either of those. We are just going to go for the flat sycamore. Uh, I am going to get a few Pissimians here, at least. Uh, actually, we'll have a max team of Pissimian. Can I get another revive? We do. I should not have thrown that double colorless energy down. Um, but I'm going to drop another revive, get myself this good old Pissimian here. And when this guy goes down, I could easily just drop another one. So we're going to go for team play. It's not going to do a full amount, but we're going to get 80 damage. 80 damage is something. I'm happy with that. It's something. Uh, and we're getting hit with another Yveltal. Again, guys, be advised that this is because of resistance. I'm going to be struggling this entire match. It is an uphill battle. Um, I cannot come through here unless my Pissimians and Mew work together. And unfortunately, she is just getting all the tool cards she needs to take me out. There goes my energy. Um, now, unfortunately, that's also her only way of knocking me out. So, interesting play, interesting play, because if she had stayed, if she had not done that, she would have had the 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, um, plus the 10 from the Fighting Fury, which would have knocked me out, but instead, instead it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, she's going to be a Seeker into the Lysander, into my damaged one, ah, that's, that's a good play, that's a good play, that, that, that's how you do it. 
I need to actually end right now because that'll remove the utility in her hand. I'm kind of hoping for something good here. Uh, it is going to be another trainer's mail. I can go for anything I want right now as long as it's Pokemon. I can ditch down everything that isn't end. Um, we're going to drop another revive. We're going to get myself my Pissimian back. Up comes our fourth Pissimian. I can Ultra Ball. We're going to get rid of our Lysander and our Kukui. As much as Kukui is amazing, get ourselves a Mew that can potentially attack. Drop that right down on the bench, and we're going to go for an end. This will only net me three cards, but two of them aren't worthwhile right now. But they could easily come in handy next turn. Uh, I'm only going to get a Bursting Balloon, which is not going to do a whole lot. This is actually a terrible turn of events. I have no energy, I have no no methods of going anything, and I've only I've got three and three currently in the discard, so that, that would explain why. Uh, but we are going to pass. I don't remember if I have Super Rod or not in this deck. Um, I would have probably heavily recommended it now that I'm looking at it, though. Uh, but that's what happens when you play a few decks and you, you kind of get used to your deck a little bit more. You start to see some of the cards that you're like, yeah, you know what? After playing this deck for like a hundred times, I see that I do need something else. And this Yveltal is just going to eat us alive. Via Seeker into the Lysander, even after the, mi uh, the mitigation on the hand, she still manages to get that damage and is going to knock out one of my Pissimians. What amazing luck from my opponent! Um, so down goes my Pissimian. My opponent is perfectly in range of knocking us out here. Um, I have to go into my Mew. It's just, it's just I can't risk the Pissimians. Um, we're going to go... Uh, Switch would have been handy a long time ago. Long time ago. I do have to go for a Sycamore here because I do need opportunities. I just don't see it happening, guys. My opponent needs one more knockout. And all I get are special charges. All I'm getting are special charges. Uh, we can at least put them back in the deck, but that's not going to save us in the long run. Uh, we are going to get a Bursting Balloon. Um, it's two Shamans, three Mew. I think that's it, guys. I'm going to be able to drop an energy here. I'm going to hit for a fling. But that is unfortunately the game. Um, I unfortunately was not able to come back from these Eveltals. They did actually eat me alive in this matchup. Um, but like I said, I will not be telling you the outcome of the original matches. Um, because that would kind of destroy what would happen here. Especially because, you know, we are completely and utterly defeated. Amazing game to Curious Cleffa. She played absolutely fantastic. Her deck was just... Perfect! From point to point, from start to finish, it ran exactly the way she wanted it, knew exactly where her weaknesses were, and made sure that they were gone prior to me being able to take advantage of them. Uh, her Parallel City plays were fantastic, it really mitigated my potential to play cards, and her plays on a lot of stuff just kept her in the game, potentially swinging and keeping me from having any adv advantage at all. Uh, so please, if you guys haven't checked her out already, please go over to Curious Cleffa, check out her channel. It will be in the comment section or in the description below, so you guys have an easy access point to it. Um, and if you guys are brand new to my channel, please subscribe here as well, because it gives me the opportunity to show you guys new decks every single week. Um, but with that, though, I'm gonna get myself out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.